Hi, this is Matt, and I'm with Becky. She works for Siemens, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the new train that's going to be built from Tampa to Orlando. Great. Well, here we are at Mosey in Tampa, Florida, and Siemens has brought our high-speed rail train over here. It's a full-size mock-up of our Velaro train, which is currently in revenue service in Germany, China, Spain, and Russia, traveling at speeds of 220 miles and even above. The Chinese just topped out their model at about 251 miles an hour. It's one of the most energy efficient ways to get around. It's the equivalent of getting 700 miles per gallon per passenger on a fully loaded train. So we're talking low CO2 emissions, low greenhouse gas emissions, and it's a cleaner, safer, more reliable way to get around. So you're going to have time savings. You're going to hop on the train in Orlando. You'll get off in Tampa. And you're going to save about 50% of your time that you would by driving. And you know you will get there on time. That's one of the things. You don't have to allow all that extra time for traffic. It's also a great economic driver. So you can expect tens of thousands of new jobs, billions of dollars per year in revenue, not just to build the actual system, but also it happens once the line is actually built. So we're talking about transit-oriented development. These are city centers and restaurants and housing and retail developments that crop up around high-speed rail stations. So it's an exciting time for Siemens. It's an exciting time for Florida. We are one of the prospective bidders on this project. We don't really know who the competition is going to be yet, but we already have 5,000 employees here in Florida working on other Siemens projects. So we're hoping to be able to expand our footprint. We're already part of your community. We're hoping to do more. And we're hoping that more people come out and see us at Mosey this weekend. And how many trains will be involved? We're gonna it'll, have... It'll be five trains, and there are eight cars per train. So you're looking at about 485 passengers per train set. And how fast do we go from zero to 200 miles an hour, Becky? Oh my gosh. Let me holler over to somebody. Armin. Armin. How long does it take to get up to the top speed? Like how many minutes or how many miles? Jeez, um, I had a good chart on this. Um, 15 miles. So in about 50 miles or just a few minutes of traveling, you'll, you'll reach that top speed. And then the first trains will be produced in Germany, and then maybe future trains will be built in America? It's a little too early to speculate on exactly where they're going to be built. A lot depends on what some of the other high-speed projects in the United States are going to be. Okay, well, I thank you for your time, Becky. Great, thank you. without leaving the ground and help make a growing state smaller. You'll travel at 200 miles an hour from Tampa to Orlando in under 60 minutes, Orlando to Miami in just over two hours, and someday to Jacksonville, Tallahassee, and beyond. Because we have proven answers that move people and drive growth. Our high-speed trains run through Spain and Russia, through Germany, and the Netherlands, and China. They are blazingly fast, surpassingly comfortable, reliably punctual, and they transform economies wherever they go, with new jobs and accelerated commerce. It's not science fiction, we've done it before, and the American workers of Siemens are ready to do it again in our US factories. That's why in Florida, the future is now arriving. Welcome aboard. And we reached our stop, guys. Thank
as you guys are exiting the autograph line, please come aboard the Valero. Check out all the amenities. We've got a special surprise.